Hey guys, it's Joanna Spicer, and welcome to my new vlog series on Hissy Fit. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe now because we're going to have so much fun. Today's journey is going to be a big one for my skin. Um, a big one for my skin. I have severely dry skin, especially lately. You guys, it's a 911 sitch. Okay, I'm on a quest to hydrate. <laughs> Is it because I don't drink enough water? Is it because I drink too much iced coffee? Probably, but also I think it's California. California has enriched my life and ruined my skin. I'm from the East Coast where there's moisture in the air, okay? I used to be combination skin. I used to lean more oily two years ago. What a difference, okay? I am so dry. I have moisturizer on and it feels like I'm wearing a clay mask. It feels like my skin is stretched so tightly against my skull that it's going to tear if I make any sudden movements. Did that paint a picture for you? I hope so. Here's my dilemma, okay? I have so many products. I have endless amounts of products, but I really don't have anything that's doing the trick. I'm getting these forehead wrinkles, okay? I'm 27 years old. Kind of early to be getting wrinkles, if you ask me, and especially in my family. If you could just look at the women in my family, like, I shouldn't have a wrinkle for another 15 years at least. So I'm freaking out. I'm fairly certain they are dehydration wrinkles because my skin is just like... Another dilemma everything breaks me out. I'm not, like, I have pretty well-behaved skin as uh, as far as uh, breakouts go. Occasionally the hormonal breakout, but I've never had, like, acne issues or anything like that. But products break me out, okay? I'm a little bit broken out on my forehead right now and around here because I used something that was hopefully going to hydrate my skin, and it did, but then it left me with breakouts. So that's the, the dilemma that I'm working with. Um, it's like, do I wanna be severely dry and have wrinkles, but clear skin? Um, or do I wanna be hydrated and have breakouts? Um, <laughs> what's better? I don't know. I'm on a quest to find something that works for me. So I'm taking you guys with me to my favorite spots to by uh, Beauty and Skincare in LA. I'm going to see what I can pick up. I'm gonna pick up quite a bit. Um, I'm anticipating because I'm thinking I'm gonna need moisturizer, serum, mask, who knows what else. Just all new, new, new. It's also really fun for me because I have an addiction. Um, so I'm taking you guys with me. I'm going to Larchmont, which is one of my favorite places to buy makeup and um, skincare. Also, my allergies are acting up. <laughs> it's like I move to a new place. I start a new life. Everything's going great. But physically, I am uh, deteriorating. <laughs> Gonna try and film inconspicuously. A lot of times when you go into those like kind of bougie stores, they're like no cameras, okay? Like I'm gonna try and sh film a celebrity. It's like, uh, I'm the celebrity in this store, okay? That's what I'm thinking in my head and, but they don't. I'm gonna maybe try and like sneaky, be sneaky filmy. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's go, let's go.
Okay, I'm back in my car. I spent too much money. Um, this old man, this is the, the, this is one of the things I hate about vlogging is that like this old man was like, are you a photographer? And I was just like, yeah. That's like the easier answer rather than having to explain. Like my dad doesn't even fully understand like what vlogging is. Like he's always like, um, how's your website? And I'm like, it's going great, <laughs> thank you. Okay, I'm home. And as per usual, I spent too much money, but I think um, I'm not gonna be dry after this. Hopefully I won't break out though. First thing I'm going to use that I bought is this fresh cleanser. It's the soy cleanser, why won't it focus? I really wasn't in the market for a new cleanser. However, I just wanted it and um, supposed to be good. I've used it before, but not in a very long time. We'll see. It's not stripping. It's hydrating. Um, so hopefully this won't contribute to the dryness that I'm experiencing. This is nice. I like how it's all pooling into my mustache. That's how you know. Okay, my face is clean and it feels supple. That's exactly what we want. Oh, my face is stinging a little bit. I hope it's just because I'm really dry and not from a reaction to that cleanser. Oh no. Um, this is the Dr. Jart Waterfall Hydrogel Mask. The guy who was helping me said that this wouldn't break me out. He promised, but uh, they don't accept returns, so my guess is he really doesn't care if it does or not. But this is actually not a typical sheet mask. This one is just gel. There's no serum on it. Um, so it's just like infused in the mask. So maybe it won't break me out. I don't really know. But I'm going to try it. It's supposed to like infuse your skin with hyaluronic acid and water. Um, so let's see. I leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Let's see what this thing even looks like. Okay, so there's two parts. This is for the top half of the face. So it's just like a sticky gel on one end and just cotton fabric on the other end. It smells strongly of perfume though and I really hate that in skincare. It's not good. Why do they keep doing this? I look like one of those, um, what's the mask from like Viva Vendetta? Did I just speak English? Viva Vendetta. And then here's for the bottom. This is very fun to use. And, oh, that feels good. Oh, now I look like Hannibal Lecter. So hopefully this will work out and kind of help to plump up the skin a little bit before I move on to the um, other products I got. So I'll check back in 20 to 30 minutes and see what we're looking like. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, actually a little bit more than 30 minutes. And I feel hydrated, although I still have the mask on. So let's see what it looks like. Uh. Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my skin feels really good and plumped up but there's no serum on it or anything so that's really interesting so i feel like that did a lot wow my forehead wrinkles gone <laughs> whoa the serum i got is by keels and this is the hydro plumping retexturizing serum concentrate um i really like my serums to have hyaluronic acid in it this one does not, but it does have a bunch of glycerin, 15% to be exact, and it got really great reviews. Kiehl's is nice because they use gentle ingredients, nothing with fragrance or anything that should be super irritating. It has like a gel-like texture, and then it just kind of melts into the skin. It kind of feels like water, like it starts out like a gel, and then it melts into a water. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Last step is moisturizer, also by Kiehl's. I got the Ultra Facial Moisturizer for all skin types. I used this so many years ago and I remember really liking it, but it's been so long um, and I don't know if it's still going to work, but I remember this being very emollient and hydrating and again, 
no harsh ingredients, everything um, is good for sensitive skin, and there's no fragrance. So that's why I got this. This is the worst lighting in here. It makes my skin look so bad. Way worse than it does IRL. <sighs> okay, so that's on. My skin feels so nice right now, but I just put the stuff on, so the ultimate test will be in a few hours once everything's kind of sunken in and around where I start to get dry again. So if I feel good in a few hours, then I think... Um, we're doing good. So I'm gonna check back in a little while and see how we're doing. Okay, I'm back. It has been like a million hours now. It is now evening, it was morning, early afternoon, last time I filmed. Um, You're not gonna believe this. I'm kind of dry. <laughs> I feel much better than I did before we started this journey, but I'm still a little bit dry, so you know what that means. My dry skin people, you're gonna have to leave it in the comments. Tell me your favorite <laughs> products, what works for you, I need help. Anything, I'll do anything. It, do it does feel so much better, but it's not enough, like it's just, just this much not enough, you know? Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along this journey with me. Make sure you subscribe to Hizzy Fit if you're not already subscribed so you can catch me next week. I also have another uh, series on Hizzy Fit called Just Me and My Box, which is every single Sunday. So you can watch that as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to say what's up and see what else I'm getting into, and I will see you next week.